Hello y'all, welcome in to another book look. This time, another book from Ollie's. No, it's not crochet. However, this could be definitely crochet adjacent, right? This is easy to make beaded jewelry. Stylish looking, I think that's what it says because there's a sticker there, to, to string, wrap, and wear. Uh, original price on this $17.95, hello. Actually, that's funny because on the back, it actually shows you the original price was $12.99. Yeah, Ollie's, way to go. Their price was four bucks. I got it one day when uh, everything was marked down more than what the price said, so, because, you know, you girls cheat, okay? Um, this book, though, I thought was really cool because it goes through some very beginning stuff. This is not your fancy schmancy, oh, you have to have 35 years of experience beating to make anything. No, um, this is just a cool thing. I'm looking for the date. This came out in 2017, so it's not a super old anything. This is more modern, modern, okay, five years ago, six years ago, stop. The years are going too fast, but it's in the 2000s at least, right? Um, and they start off, look at the projects that are in here. This is right in the beginning, okay? Yes, this is all stuff that is doable by the beginner because they give you step by step. They have a getting started section with some really awesome pictures of different tools and different beads. And not only that, to the pictures of tools and beads, they really break it down. And I like this because a lot of times, even in crochet, I look at stuff and I'm like, I don't know what stuff is called. It's a thingamajig. It's a hootsie doo. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. But here, because there are other tools that are used, I like that they break it down. They show you the pictures of the pliers. Oh, it looks so scary, right? And the cutters, they're not scary. They're actually really easy to use. And they tell you what they are and they describe them and what they're for. Um, extras, what you need if you wanna do some extra things. Um, like ring mandrel, you know what a ring mandrel is? No, it's not Barbara mandrel, okay? Or Louise or, you know, no. It's a, a doohickey <laughs> that you slide a ring onto and you can size the ring that way. You can kind of beat on it and make it bigger because it gives you all the different sizes starting from little small all the way down to very big yeah it says that it's a tapered rod used to measure the size of a ring or in the case of jewelry making to shape a ring to a specific size yeah that's what I said only I said it with words that didn't make any sense um and the beads you know there are so many different kinds of beads right Look at these pictures. This is just some of them. All the different shapes and sizes. Holy cannoli, what, they're all called something different too. This not only describes um, what the beads are, but you get to look at a picture too, because A goes over here to A and you go, okay, that's what that looks like. Seed beads, E beads, bugle beads, cones, bicones, rondelles, briolettes, and more. I don't know why I just went that way, but uh, melon beads, beehive beads, nuggets, and spacer beads. And they just kind of show you what they look like so that you can get more of an idea because they give you a shopping list when you're doing a, uh, a project in here. It says, okay, you need three of these, four of these, 73 of these, you know, whatever, but you can know what you're looking for. You can go to a bead thing and kind of know what you're talking about, right? Then they tell you about some of the stringing materials because y'all, you can bead on just about anything. We know, we have beaded on yarn. I have made it a beaded shawl. I've made it, I have crocheted a beaded shawlette, me. So if I can do it, y'all can definitely do it, okay? But yeah, there's all the, a lot of the different wire types and something that's called findings. And again, with the findings, they have got descriptions and pictures with the, the, the wires and stuff too, but telling you what these things are called, what they're used for, that's fantastic. And you get some step-by-step close-up pictures how to do some of those really basic things that people just presume that you know how to do but you really don't and you're kind of lost first time I tried to bead something I was like they say make a jump ring well how in the hell do I do that yeah basic stuff okay opening and closing jump rings and look at those close-up pictures of those pliers read directions step by step on how to do it and attaching crimp tubes and beads Again, they give you all of the, the descriptions. Then they tell you what pages. Projects using this, this technique appear on pages blah, 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 blah. 
cutting chain. They tell you how to cut chain and how to open chain links. Forming a loop, which is very important, and you do that a lot. Even just making stitch markers, you'll have to form a loop sometimes. And this may help with that too. You might think, well, that has nothing to do with crochet. Stitch markers, y'all. Stitch markers, okay? Uh, forming a wrapped loop, which is that loop that then you go bloom, bloom, bloom around it. Yeah, I knew you'd know the technical term, bloom, 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 okay? Forming a loop for briolette beads. Yeah, they get a little more specific there, but again, they tell you projects using this technique appear on page, whatever. So they can show you, and then you can go do the thing if you want to. Or when you're on that page, you can go, holy crap, I don't know how to do this. You find the, the how-to in the beginning. Wrapping beads with wire. We've all seen these and went, wow, that's cool. Yeah, you can do cool stuff. Um, and some knot work, because you have to use knots sometimes if you're doing work with cords, right? But they, they're really going through some of the specifics. There's also braiding. Mm -hmm. Surgeon's knot. Do they do that when they're making stitches? I don't know. I've had staples. Have I had stitches? If I had stitches, they were internal. I don't remember seeing them and being able to mess with them because I'd have messed with them. That's just what I do. And then we get into all of the step-by-step -step projects. Look at these beautiful pictures. Oh, makes me want to pull up my beads <laughs> because they're so pretty. Clear water jewelry set. Now that is this set that they're talking about here. They're very pretty. But here's what I was talking about with a shopping list. Um, first of all, I mean, they give you step by step what to do to make these. But the shopping list, they tell you one, 45 by 25 gemstone slice pendant, blue. Two, 22 millimeter gemstone nugget beads, white. Two, 20 millimeter. I mean, they really break it down for you. So you're not guessing and going, gosh, I don't know how big that one is. What's the size, you know? They tell you what tools you need for this project. Needle nose pliers, round nose pliers, crimping pliers, and wire cutters. Those are all pretty basic. If you buy one of those um, jewelry making sets at Walmart that you know just comes in a little like a super, pseudo leather case, that's what you're gonna get. Plus a little few others, but you're gonna get those. Techniques, and it tells you what techniques you'll need in this. Opening and closing jump rings, attaching crimp tubes and bees, forming a loop, and forming a wrap loop. So it tells you exactly what you're going to need. And then it gets into the earrings and tells you what to do there. Then you've got your set made. This has a much smaller shopping list for boho wire bangles. And it, it goes into what you need to make that and stuff. Ocean Dreams Twisted Necklace. Oh, this actually has levels and time taken too. Let me go back on that. Okay, I didn't even notice that before. The Clearwater Jewelry Set, out of three hearts, level one, time one. So that one should be pretty straightforward you know, to go once you've got some of those really basic techniques down. The Boho Wire Bangles, level one, time two. Don't know, because I didn't look through all of what it takes, but there you go. Ocean Dreams Twisted Necklace. This looks so stinking fancy. Level one, time two. Isn't that beautiful? That is not something that I personally would wear, but on somebody who would, that would be so lovely. Switch It Up Earrings Trio, level one, time one. Those are kind of cool. Vintage Floral Chain Necklace, level one, time one. That is super pretty, especially if you have something you want to show off there. Yeah, you make something like this to really display it. Nautical Bangles Set, level one, time one. And these are made with memory wire. In my opinion, if you want to start off and you, want, you just want to put stuff together, to be a pretty representation of beads that you like and a design that you like and you don't want to futz with so much of that other stuff, do some memory wire. 
Um, you need to have a separate pair of cutters for memory wire because they will ruin your cutters. They are strong. The memory wire is, it holds its shape. It's got memory, okay? That's why you buy memory wire of a certain size. You buy it that'll fit your wrist or you buy it that'll fit your neck or you know, however you're gonna do it. Um, and it kind of snaps back. But it, it's a, it'll, you know, it's a one size fits pretty much anybody. And here they show you how to do it and what to use. Those are so pretty, the beads they use there. But yeah, memory wire, if you are just, you know, you're gonna help somebody along, you're just gonna help them string stuff and maybe they can't see thread to string, you use the beads that have a little bit of a bigger hole and memory wire is stiff. You can string a bead onto there. And that might be a confidence builder for someone who's never done it before. A braided seed bead necklace. I'm kind of obsessed with seed beads. I don't know why. I don't use them for much. <laughs> I've occasionally made some stuff with them. But look. I mean, that's obsession worthy, isn't it? This says level one, time three. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This just screams model to me. I, I couldn't wear this. Pearls and gems necklace. Level two, time two. I do love some of the stones and the beads they have on there though, it's gorgeous. Sunset medallion necklace, level two time one. Swirled shell necklace. They're using hexagon shell beads and oval shell beads to do this. Look at those beads though. Aren't they pretty? Ooh. Love those. Wrapped teardrop earrings, level two, time one. I think that would be something a little quicker and easier if you don't want a huge project that's a huge undertaking. Very small shopping list on that. Crystal pendant necklace. That just looks heavy to me. Doesn't that look heavy to you? I mean, unless it's a pom-pom or something, but it's not. It's like a piece of crystal. Desert turquoise necklace. Wow, level two, time one. You wanna see some beautiful real turquoise jewelry? Go out to New Mexico in the high desert. Um, yeah, a lot of the tribes out there, they make their own turquoise jewelry and you can go to the markets and buy them from the artisans that have made them themselves. I have a pair of earrings like that because I love them. And I don't wear them much because they're very thin turquoise and they're not um, the loop that stays closed on itself. It's just, it's a hook wire. So I just, I'm careful about when and where I'm going to wear them. Periwinkle necklace. Ooh, these are pretty. Look at those. That is a level two time two with a long shopping list. Now this is pretty. Level two time two. It is the beaded wrap bracelet they using for that satin cord and monofilament which is essentially um, fishing wire look at that that is interesting how that is done some of those knots come into play there eco warrior stone necklace I don't know what that means I really don't. Level two, time two. It's like, go earth, I'm gonna wear rocks. Is that what that means? I mean, that's kind of what it looks like to me. <laughs> autumn glow necklace, that's kind of pretty. Very autumny, beautiful colors. That's a level two, time two. Bronze twirl earrings. These are very much. They would hurt my ears to wear. I would have to wear clip-ons with these and not the loops through. Because I don't want my ear holes getting stretched out. Do you? That looks pretty heavy. But I love the way they put that together. I could see doing some of these techniques for a charm bracelet. That would be kind of fun. Beaded stripes necklace. I love the colors in this. I love the way this is done. It's a level three time two, because of course I like the hard one. Look at that. 
Isn't that gorgeous? I think it's all the blues and turquoises. The Crisscross Cascade set. This is a level three time two. And yes, it does kind of crisscross when you wear it. And that is it on that. They do give you a glossary and an index. Of course, huh, looks like I'm missing some index. That's interesting. Or maybe not. Okay, it looks like it starts kind of in the middle, but it doesn't. It starts with the A's. The index is very small. My page is ripped. I think it was like that at the store, which may be why it was at Ollie's. I don't know. Um, but the glossary tells you about some different kinds of beads and things in there that maybe they didn't tell you in the front part. All in all, I think it was a good purchase. Would I have bought it for $13? No. Would I have bought it for what Ollie says is the regular price of $18? No. Four bucks, maybe, but I got it on sale. They, they had like a store-wide doobly-doo going on. So yeah, absolutely. Um, am I going to make all of these? Probably not, but it does give me some inspiration. It also gives inspiration for the crochet stuff. You can see how that's put together and go, wow, I bet I could crochet something to give that effect, right? See, you gotta think with the noggin, okay? And enjoy things that may not necessarily be your craft, but could just be fun to look through and give you some inspiration. I know I love to do it. Thank you for coming by. I appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. Um, I do, I crochet, of course. That's Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. I also love to drink tea. I have time for tea on Mondays, book look on Sundays, snacks are around the world on Tuesdays because your fat chick loves to eat. And um, you never know what else might pop up in between. I do thank you for coming by. Please leave me a comment. And so consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. See you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.